Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to the GPU Puzzle Project X. It is essential to note that this is a GPU Puzzle video and not a single GPU Puzzle. And the difference between those two is large, but the concept stays the same. With that said, to accomplish this project, I'm gonna be digging on the software side. Ash Linux with VitaFS file system, time shift, snapshot utility, libvirt, KVM, QMU, virtual magic virtualization stack, Windows 10, ISO file, virtio diverse, ISO file. On the hardware side, the machine must have two GPUs, a CPU that supports virtualization, a motherboard that supports virtualization, and IOMMU Puzzle. In my case, I'm gonna be using IMD Ryzen 3 3200G APU with Adeon Vega 8 graphics, B4500 DSTH Gigabyte motherboard, and Vidia GeForce RTX 3050, a simple HP monitor. I know that APU is a bottleneck for that graphic card, but that's what I'm digging at the moment. This video won't contain a PC build guide, look for it yourself, dog. Now, by any chance, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, the answer is quite simple, homie. Windows is bloat, privacy killer, and freedom violate. The structure of this video is the following BIOS tweaking, IOMME groups check, GLOB and uh, GPU isolation, virtual manager Windows 10 installation. Pull up to your BIOS by pressing the appropriate key shown on the BIOS screen before loading the OS. Enable SVM mode. It goes for virtualization on the AMD side. Enable IOMMU and see the initial display output to integrated graphic device video. Assuming you already installed Arch Linux and delivered KMU stuff, update your system and locate your GPU's IOMMU group by running the script checking from the Arch Wiki. Side note, the GPU comes with two components, video and audio, so we're looking for two elements. Now, if you're out of luck, you will get something like I found. My two GPU components are on group 0, but here's the catch. There are other elements next to my GPU's video and audio devices. Here's the famous rule for IOMMU puzzle. If you want to puzzle something, you must puzzle everything on that IOMMU group except for bitches with a device, or it won't work. But if your IOMMU group is clean, on the GPU stuff and some bitches, you're good to go. So, what we're doing now? I can say I found three keys for this. You can change, move your card from a PCIe slot to another, but this ain't an option for me because I got a mini ITX board. Or you can update your BIOS. I ain't taking the risk. The consequences of attempting to do that are severe. I can't afford losing my motherboard, dog. You know what I'm saying. So we are down to the last resort we're going to be using: ACS overlaid patch. Once again, if your IOMMU group is ideal, skip to the next step. You will need the kernel with the patch applied. The easiest method to acquire this is through the Linux Zen kernel. You need to install the Linux Zen package next to the Linux Zen headers package. In addition, the ICS override patch needs to be enabled with kernel command line options. Add PCIe ICS override against downstream multifunction to your bootloader kernel parameters. We're gonna add that on the next step. Lastly, boot your machine with the Linux Zen kernel. I run the script again, and as you can see, mission successful. The group's elements are separated. <laughs> First, we need to create a time shift snapshot in case we miss something up. Second, install NVIDIA divers for your host machine and add a Pac-Man hook to update any TimeFS whenever the NVIDIA divers get upgraded. Now, run LSPCI-NN in order to get them sync entries of your GPU. We're gonna need those. Edit your global kernel parameters by adding the following, add the sync entries to the VFI or PCI IDs parameter, and of course, update your GLOB config file. Next, add these two lines to vfio.conf and uh, update your NTMFS. And remember, it's the Linux Zen kernel. Before we reboot, let's check the driver that is using the GPU by running this command lspci-k. It's NVIDIA. After the rebooting, run the same command as you can observe with your eyes. The GPU is picked up by the VFIO PCI driver. If you want to step up the game by making sure everything is in place, run this command to check if the IMMU is enabled. Yes, it is. And this command to see if the GPU is isolated. The sync entries are there. So, this is some clean work, Dag. I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, we reached the most juicy part of this project, the Verge Manager installation. Side note, remember to keep the video QXL display because Windows won't detect the GPU at first, we will need to update the system. Enjoy!
Welcome back. As you can see, the Nvidia GPU is detected by the VM, update windows by rebooting, and ultimately the Nvidia GPU is up and running. Now shut down the VM, edit the video from QXL to none, remove tablet and save. Run the VM, move your HDMI cable from the motherboard port to the GPU's HDMI port and this is the moment of enlightenment. As you can see, the GPU is working, mission successful. This is some clean, 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 you know what I'm saying? Some tight work, dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. The performance on this VM is really astonishing. I'm playing some games and what can I say? This VM is lit. I can probably say I did it. It took me like three failed attempts to achieve these results and it's worth it. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and catch you on the next one.